And a very good morning to you. It is Sunday morning. It's the 2nd of April, 2023. I greet you in Jesus' precious name. This is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. If we start off in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, and I'm reading from verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. And then verse 4, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. We're talking about Jesus Christ. And then we go straight to the first book of John, right at the back of the Bible, close to the book of Revelation, the first book of John, chapter 1, and I'm reading from verse 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. We're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. God made flesh. Emmanuel. It literally means God with us. Now you'll find that in the book of Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14. That book was written even before Jesus Christ was even born. Oh friends, I know this man. <laughs> oh my dear friends, he is my dearest friend. He is the miracle worker. You know, I've seen so many miracles with my own eyes to doubt that he is God's only begotten precious son. Just last week, I was in Namibia. We were in an open air meeting. The sun was extremely hot, maybe 40 degrees plus. The people I could see were so uncomfortable with the heat. And in front of everybody, we asked the Lord, please, Lord, can you send that cloud over the sun? just to shelter the people. And what did he do? Exactly that. <laughs> he sent the cloud over the sun, and we had a beautiful umbrella of shade. And then a gentle wind just blew through the crowd. It was incredible. The weekend before that, when I was down near Port Elizabeth in Jeffreys Bay, when I'd just about finished preaching, he put a ring around the sun in the middle of the day, to tell us that he loved us. Oh yes, we've got thousands of witnesses to prove that. And the weekend before that, he broke our hearts. I saw big strong men up in the mighty men, Bushveld, Polokwane, crying like babies as he healed us from fear and doubt. Embrace him today. He's waiting for you. He wants to talk with you. He's a friend who sticks closer than any brother. Proverbs 18, 24. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful Sunday as you spend it with him. Goodbye.